Welcome back to the Dude's Kitchen, everybody. Today's episode is actually the first episode of season three. Hard to believe. God, it almost feels like season one still. It's crazy. Today's episode, we're making something that was born out of necessity, right? So I went and bought some tacos, the fixings for it, got home, looked at my taco shells, and every one of them was broken. And I thought, now what am I going to do? If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and ring that bell for notifications. It's free. And, you know, free is like, you know, you can get a free haircut. You know, can't go wrong with that. So I kind of came up with this crazy idea to make a taco sandwich. Of course, that wouldn't work, right? Because you put, you know, just have your your bread and you put your taco over, that's not going to work, so you have to put cheese down on it. So, kind of came out to be a taco cheese sandwich or cheese sandwich with taco in it. And I'll tell you what, it kind of sounds funky, but it is absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you how to make it. All right, I'm El Dutorino, King of the Sockers. Let's start. We start with a little butter. We take an onion. I like onions in my tacos. If you do, that's great. If you don't, that's cool too. For me, the more the better. Perfect. We're going to start with some hamburger. And this is the 80-20. Now Mrs. Dude has this thing. It's called a mix and chop. It's a Pampered Chef device that she got. I'll put a link down below for you, but watch this. Just tears right through that burger. Gotta kind of mix everything up together. And all right, let's get this cooking on the Cuisinart. We're gonna let it cook down, and then we're gonna add our taco seasoning. So our meat and onions look just about done. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to them, and I got about three quarters of a cup there. And then I'm gonna add this Ridley's taco seasoning. Now Ridley's is just a, a local chain that we have here. They probably got 10, 15 stores. And man, they make some good products. So we're gonna add that in. Those are three big tablespoons. Give it another 10 minutes or so to let everything kind of fuse together. And then I think it's time to start on our grilled cheese. For our bread, we're just using Sara Lee's Artesian Bread. They're not a sponsor, wish they were, but they make great bread for grilled cheese. So I'm gonna just take a bottle of vodka, just kinda roll out the bread a little bit. Hey, that looks pretty good, look at that. We'll do it again. That's perfect. We're going to take some butter, just kind of butter one side up of these, and that is perfect. Every taco needs lettuce and tomato. So I cut up one of these Roma tomatoes here. I like Romas, they're cheap, they're good, they're meaty. Love this knife that Mrs. Dude gave me, one of her Pampered Chef knives. They are sharp. Now for the lettuce, slice it up, man. We got our taco meat off. It's looking really good. To start our bread, I'm just gonna put the non-buttered side down first. Just let it kind of heat up for a little bit on the bottom. There's a method to my madness and I'll share it with you here in just a second. All right, I think it's time to flip. First thing we're going to lay down is our cheese. Now, of course, being bread, when we put the, the meat on, it's going to be a little wet, and so it's going to run right through. So that's why I'm putting the cheese down, put some lettuce down, and then some tomatoes. Add some extra sharp cheddar cheese. You add whatever you want to it. Let these things cook for a little bit. Let's check the bottom, get in there. The key to it is, is not to let this thing burn. All right. Oh, 
are a little messy, but that's okay. That's kind of what tacos are all about, right? Just let them continue to cook. We've been on for about a minute and a half. Let's give it a flip. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh yeah, everything's starting to melt inside as well, like that. It smells amazing too. Nice and crispy on top. All right, I think these are done. What do you think? That looks pretty darn good. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, this segment we like to call The Dude Being Slack. Oh, what a nice day. Finally get a chance to relax. Just me, outside, you know. You're gonna make me a white Russian. Yeah. That's the ticket. Oh. Let's give this a cut. Pretty damn good, huh? Right on. Oh. The meat was the longest part of this, and it took about 15 minutes to do. This part, super fast. Pretty damn good. You get a lot of cheese in that. But you know what? That taco seasoning with the meat, and the tomato and the onions and lettuce. Wow. I highly recommend these, I really do. You saw how we made them, super simple. So if you guys make them, tell me, tell me what you like on your tacos. And if you make them, tell me how they came out. All right guys, thanks everybody for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications. Special thanks to Patty Style Productions for editing this video. Patrick does a great job, and if you're interested in having somebody edit your videos, I highly, highly recommend Patty Style Productions. I'll put a link down to his channel below. All right, guys, there you have it. It's that simple. We made a taco grilled cheese sandwich or a grilled cheese sandwich with taco seasoning meat in the mix. All right, I'm going to go back to eating this. We'll talk to you later, and uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Appreciate it. <laughs> wow. You know, subscribing is free, just like a haircut. If you get a free haircut, man, it's the right price.